Hooray! I got fired from Ruby Tuesday. Woohoo! Now I gotta work somewhere else, so let's see what's on the menu for restaurants to work at. And it looks like Bukadi. Buka. Er. Buka. D. Bupo. Is our next stop, according to that pinned comment on a previous episode. I noticed that this was the cause of my restaurant marathon as well. Anyways, proceeding with video plot. Welcome to Buka's Food Factory. What do you want to eat today? I would like to have a... Wait just a second. Haven't I seen you before in a previous location that I can't quite remember? Er, I don't think so. I could be that mysterious tree in the background or someone who I'm familiar with. Ugh, fine. I can't be bothered to think if this is true or not, I had a long day. I'll just take the ravioli to go, please. Well, one of the employees ate all the raviolis. Every last one of them. I did check. How about some pizza instead? I don't like pizzas, so no deal. I'll go to Mario's restaurant instead. Hope Nintendo doesn't DMC at that place. No, Dad. You don't like pizzas. I'll keep that in mind. Welcome to Boo and Ka. How can I provide a combination of servant you today? Uck, you again, Mr. Anderson? Why are you working in an Italian restaurant? I think I told you before, but it's mainly the requester's choice of where I work at next, which is also influenced by the creator. Yeah, I'm aware of that. Why haven't you learned from your previous iterations since we last met? Look, I'll tell you later on Discord or something. If you don't want to order anything, step out of the line, please. You're holding up the customers and I don't want them to say finally, repeatedly. Fine. I only came here to use the bathroom quickly, anyways. I find that hard to believe, knowing how I interact with customers like you. Welcome to Bipo di Buca in reverse. What's tickling your taste buds? Hi sir. I would like to have the spaghetti and meatball on the kids menu. Ruby would like a cheese pizza and what would you like, Alice? How about a double dark chocolate cake of some sort? Possibly one with less sugar, if that's possible. Yes, and my order is correct, that I also want a red speed lean technology drink. Did you get all of that? Dude. What the heck is a red speed line? Er, thingy. Does that even exist? Yes. Our former friend Caleb showed us the project that Brian and Princess Denise keeps hidden from us. They keep stopping us from using it and even I'm confused as to why Ruby ordered that here. Is it meant to be a secret item or something? I definitely saw the drink on the website. Believe me, I did. Well, we don't have the drinks that you're looking for, but we do have everything else that you mentioned. Feel free to park up by a table and I shall make the kitchen cookers aware of your order. Okay, sir. Let's go, girls, to the table. Welcome to the second coming of a restaurant that I can't pronounce in a consistent manner. How can we serve? I would like to have the pizza spinach with extra salt added, please. Alas, we don't have the spinach or the salt to make that pizza. Talk to Popeye, he's likely stored all the spinach, ready for him to eat. Hey! Popeye doesn't even exist, you blind fool. Besides, you didn't even check for the items that you say you ran out stopping lazy. Please do not call me lazy because that's a sign of disrespect especially in the policies of this restaurant. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave or I'll have to call security. Fine. Leave I shall to your boss for being hypocritical. Have fun getting fired shortly. Wow, I honestly didn't see that coming. She tricked me, just like a few others who have talked with me before while I'm in the middle of a job. What a dang shame. Welcome to Buka. Don't welcome to Buka me. Explain what you've done to my pizza. Explain why on earth it tastes like cardboard. I have no idea what you're talking about. I wasn't the one to serve you when you were given your pizza. I assume. You're talking to the wrong person. I ordered a pizza to be delivered to my house last night just before closing time, and when my friends and I tried it out, 
Like I said, it literally tasted like cardboard and it even came to the point where one of my friends threw up onto the couch. Had to spend all night cleaning that up. Please forward her, amazing, complaint to the manager. I don't want to deal with arguments like this right now. And in future, please don't accuse people of accidents and treating them like they're a serious crime that's arrestable and executable by some fictional law. Thank you very much. If he can't help me, then he will never see me eat here ever again. Yeah, hear me. I wish I didn't. Ugh. Welcome. Welp, that's the end of my job, I guess. Guess what? I have found yet another glitch to end your job's life, and that's by doing this.